Before we left Gangwaf, we were invited to take part of an exciting eco tour adventure to the south of Haiti. We were, of course, more than happy to tag along. <laughs> Our trip started at Kabik, near Jacmel. We drove from Port-au-Prince the night before in order to start our day bright and early. Hello guys, I'm Natalie and I'm doing Haiti Roots. It's an entrepreneur social business about tourism in Haiti. I've been doing that for almost one year. I really like uh, make a tourism very sustainable who empower the local communities. I make tour for the tourism and for the local people who want to discover the country and uh, his nature, his culture. Actually, I have 30 tours and different tours like with each theme. Sometimes it's sportive, sometimes it's cultural, sometimes it's adventure. It's not like a big hotel tourism, it's very like specific tourism. You meet the local, you eat with them, you eat like local food. It's very like natural, refreshing and different. The hotel we stopped in after our hike down from Seguin back in September is just around the corner. It was strange coming back and seeing so many walks washed up on the beach from the hurricane a few months before. Although Haiti Woods has many different tours to all parts of Haiti, this one was not on official list yet. The plan was to test it out and see if in the end it would be added to their list of eco-tours. In a way, it was an experimental tour. None of us really knew how it would turn out, aka my kind of adventure. After two hours After two of a beautiful hours. boat ride. We are going to take some motorcycles that are going to take us to the Cascade. We were all very excited to get to the waterfall. But with all our smiling faces, we had no idea that the motor taxi ride would be so bumpy. <laughs> Because sometimes the road's too steep to go up with a motorcycle. So we have to get off and meet him at the top. I 
after I think 30 minutes of crazy motorcycle ride, uh, we just made it to the entrance of the waterfall road. We're just waiting for the rest of the group to get there to make sure that everybody knows to turn on the right road. But man, the drivers are awesome for being able to do this every single day. It's insane that the little motorcycles can actually make this road. Yeah, so we're going up there and then all the way to the waterfall. This is getting really fun. This is where the action happens. I mean, staying at home watching TV on a Saturday. What's the point, right? Who does that? So we're on like 30 minutes past the motor ride. We don't know how long it's gonna last, but we're looking forward to it. We're halfway there. We're halfway to home. All right, guys. Well, we're uh, hiking again. Yep, the little motorcycle said no, thank you. <laughs> these hills are uh, steeper, and these roads are worse than the hike that we went down from Sergan to Jacques Mel. But instead of going down them, we're going up them. And that poor little motorcycle just uh, does not want to no. take all three of us <laughs> up this road. So we're... We're hiking some more. Hike up the steep parts and ride down the uh, not so steep parts. <laughs> We came to a point where the little taxi motos were slower than walking. So we parked them and the group continued on foot. The taxi drivers even tagged along to go for a swim and freshen up, knowing that we had to take the entire trip again, backwards. So we've come up with a theory. Haiti is a mix between Lord of the Rings and Avatar. Think about that. After a two hour boat ride, an hour and a half of bumping up the road on a motorcycle, and another hour of hiking, we finally made it to the most beautiful waterfall we've ever seen in Haiti. Cascade Pichon is one of the most difficult falls to get to, but when we got there, we instantly forgot the hard six hours of travel. At least a dozen jaw-dropping waterfalls are fed by an underground lake at the top of the mountain. After some time relaxing and enjoying the refreshing water, it was time to head back. Haiti definitely has its own character. But after we spend the time to truly see her real beauty, we begin to realize how Haiti's unique natural elements have the potential to surpass the negativity, masking her true allure, and that ecotourism may be the future of this country. The exhilarating simplicity of exploring without helmets, rails, or paved walkways is for me what I admire the most about Haiti's natural attractions. Thank you to Haiti Woods for taking us on this wonderful trip. And a big shout out to Claude for sharing his drone footage with us. So I hope that you're coming. And if you come to Haiti, make sure you call me.
Haiti roots. Thank you and see you soon. And thank you so much for watching this step. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our next step when we finally set sail to explore the lush northern coast of Haiti. Until then, cheers! Oh, you're too tall, man. What? You ready? Better. So, what, what do we do? What's Whatever you say. Now? All right. White boy, come out of the sun. You're ruining the <laughs> shot. There you go, just in the shade. Too <laughs> tall, too white. Like, what can I do right here? <laughs> yeah. right. This is probably bad footage by now. <laughs>